So, when you make an audit plan, you need audit objective. First, what is the objective of the audit? What is the result you are looking for? Some audits are designed to check implementation. Some audits we are doing for the purpose of certification. Some of them are for expansion of the scope. Some of them for reduction of the scope. Some of them are short notice audit to follow up audit. So objective has to be clearly defined. Criteria means the requirement against which you are doing audit. What are the criteria? What are the requirements? When you are going for ISO 9000 audit, ISO 9000 standard, legal requirements becomes your criteria. Scope means what activity and processes you are going to cover, which departments you are going to cover, that is scope, right? Uh, the process, like coating activities you are going to audit, like pipe mill you are going to audit, like the certification of the whole organization is, is a scope, things like that. Number of sites under scope and number of sites to be audited. There is something we'll talk about sampling plan later. Now, what is number of sites under scope? Maybe there are two sites doing the similar job. Like combined group, for example, has got one site making some flow lines, few flow lines, another project site doing another flow line. So these two are doing same project. Similar. So maybe one of them can be sampled. But if one of the site is doing tank construction or tank maintenance, another site is doing, say, um, another site is doing flow line. In that case, two scopes are completely different. And both of them has to be included in the certification scope. So both sites have to be audited. This is how the scopes and the sites are to be decided. If two sites are doing identical job under the same management, similar structure, similar control, you can take one of them. Or if there are three or four sites, maybe two of them, there are certain guidelines. Based on that, we choose the sites. This is based on the scope of the activity in each site. Now, Size of the organization, department, number of people, complexity. Very important. Sometimes the processes are very complex, like a refinery, like a gathering center, well sent, oil gathering center, or petroleum production center, very high risk, high critical jobs, chemical industries, process industries, high risk industries need more complexity, needs more time and attention. Based on that, you decide the time. All right. Competence requirement of the audit team, I told you, the, the team, each team member does not have to be expert in everything. But, all right, but together, the team together has to have the overall competence. Totally, like Junaid, Ibrahim, and Abdul Razak, three together can audit all departments. Because each one has got expertise in different areas and putting them all together, you can cover. Alone, everyone does not have expertise in everything. So that is how you have to choose. That's what uh, sector-specific experience or technical knowledge. Important in the process activities, geographical spread. And IFMD5 is very important. I'm going to talk. IAF is International Accreditation Forum. There is the apex body, the highest body in the world with regulating the certification requirements, right? Certification and audit requirements uh, are regulated by IAF. So all accreditation body follows IAF guideline. MD means mandatory document. Five is the fifth document. Like you have got different procedure identified with some number. So IAF MD5 is a document which tells you that if this is the size of the organization, these many man days has to be spent, something like that. So MD5 is a mandatory document. And for surveillance audit, critical processes has to be audited. You have talked about it yesterday. And previous audit results also has to be seen. And customer feedback complaint areas, high accident incident when you are doing safety audits or occupational health and safety audit. Trend of non-conformity and corrective actions. These are considered for 
when you are doing um, an audit plan. Now, as I mentioned, it is MD5, IAF MD5. So if there is an organization, the total effective number of people means how many people you are going to audit is effective number of people. Uh, there is some definitions. I'm not going into too much detail of this as is beyond the scope of this program. Uh, but if you need any question, you can contact me subsequently later on. But imagine there is an organization where effective number of people whom you should audit is one to five. Then in stage one and stage two together, you should spend one and a half day time. This means at least half day stage you are not audited, one full day site audit. Because with this five people, you can, in one and a half day, you can cover up everything in a small organization. If the organization is six to 10 people, then you need two days. Like that, if there is an organization where 500 people are there, you might need 11 days. You not might need, you need minimum 11 days. So why you know, some organization spends five or six days is based on the number of people they decide. These many man days. Now I will show you a sample audit plan. You are going to use a similar audit plan. This is a template that we have decided to share with you for this training purpose. It's a wonderful plan and structure. You can include date in that time, auditors and the processes. So if day one and day two, imagine you have got one day audit. Now, what is audit mandates? Audit mandates means one auditor, one day. Two mandates means one auditor, two days or two auditor, one day. So if a company, uh, you need say, a two days audit. So two mandates audit means one day you can put two, two persons, two auditors, you get two mandates. How audit plan is made? You have got a time for opening meeting. All right. So say 8.30 to 8.45. Opening meeting is short activity for opening meeting, right? In opening meeting, you are talking about the guideline that we have given already opening meeting guide. In that, you explain Explain the scope and all these formalities that is required. So from in that, everybody is attending for 15 minutes. After that, say one auditor, 8.45 to 1 o'clock, lead auditor is auditing the top management and ma management representatives. The so chairman, managing director, and the management representative, they are uh, being audited in all these clauses, quality policy, objective, resource, internal audit, corrective action, preventive action. All right, preventive action is not there. Sorry, right now it's, I have to remove this. Preventive action is basically risk management. The preventive action right now is not there in the new standard, but some people still uh, has it. So it's corrective action, analysis of data, customer satisfaction, measurement analysis, a management review, all these elements are top management related. So the lead auditor is auditing 8.30 to 1 o'clock. 1 o'clock, they are joining for lunch. At that time, another auditor, imagine I am the lead auditor, or Junaid is the lead auditor, and another auditor could be Ibrahim, another auditor is Yusef, the three of you. So Yusef, at that point of time, is doing his good in design and development process, customer related process, design and development review, these processes he is doing. At the time, Yusef is expert in manufacturing. So he is doing product realization, planning, validation of the process, identification, traceability, control of document, drawings, control of records, measurement and monitoring process, customer property, all these things they are individually doing, independently doing. By one o'clock, they will finish these processes and join us for lunch. After lunch, two o'clock, again, lead auditor goes to human resource development department. Auditor one goes to purchase and store. And auditor two is going to QAQC and laboratory, for example. And by 3.30, they are completing the audit. So all of them comes and discusses 
among themselves whatever they have done in different departments summarizing and then talking to the representative for example you are talking to the representative of the company that this is what we have seen and an agreement is made that this is what we have really seen these are the areas we have found some opportunity for improvement these are the non conformities has been agreed it's like a summarization it's like a summary of what is going to be presented in the close out meeting then from 6430 to 5 o'clock half an hour close out meeting will be done all the auditors and the audit is meeting together that's how the audit plan is made very simple no big deal here you have to consider there is top management there is car reception you have got car servicing you have got qa qc you have got dispatch department so those departments you have to consider okay receiving is there then car servicing is there then you have got inspection department right you have got store and purchase department right and you have got dispatch department so these are the departments you are going to audit and top management is there top management is like mr i will consider myself as the mr of the company and also there is human resource department where training and you know the development activities will be done so these are the departments you have to cover three of you together can you please note down the department on your notepad your departments are customer service which is car reception then inspection department who is responsible for receiving inspection as well as final inspection right then you have got servicing department who is responsible for servicing the cars right you have got purchase department responsible for purchase you have got store you have got accounts department who is receiving payments you have got qa qc department i have already told who is responsible for receiving inspection and final inspection and you have got human resource department for training and awareness and human resource development process and then you have got uh, security and dispatch in all department you should spend at least one one and a half hour minimum so accordingly you can decide one day audit so two auditors in the team this is how the audit is going to go you have got 45 minutes time for this you have to do it within 30 minutes and then 15 minutes for discussion i will share the soft copy of the audit plan a scope is general servicing of ford make light motor vehicles i was saying yeah scope uh, criteria and objective is initial certification Uh, so 9001 2015 and applicable requirements so audit members your name as a team leader write the other team members name audit mandate will give two because two of you are auditing one day so audit mandate is two two auditors one day is two so scroll down quickly so opening meeting audit date one just give today's date or tomorrow's date time okay. time 8:30 to something like 8:30 to say 9 o'clock there there 8:45 right 8:45 45 9 o'clock no problem half an hour 45 minutes fine half an hour 15 minutes to 30 minutes maximum not more than 30 minutes okay okay auditors both a1 a2 kar do na shall we write name or just a1 a2 kar do fast ho jayega don't waste time a1 a2 okay here audit okay. leave it audit leave it now no need okay. location, location department. department is not applicable all now after that you have to divide the department okay mm -hmm. so discuss amongst yourself and put this one after i'll share the model answer so that once you are doing you can check whether you are doing it right but at least do it fast so that you mm -hmm. you are progressing well you know what the plan should contain in your right approach time distribution auditor distribution and things like that okay